Day 10. Day 10. And it is pouring. Absolutely pouring. We had such great weather the whole trip. And now on the freeway for five hours we'll be doing this. And it's supposed to rain all the way. If we wanted weather like this, we could have stayed in Oregon. It's true. It's true. You know, it's interesting. I was mentioning to Randy um, earlier that in California, the rain is really, seriously, the rain is different. In Oregon, it just rains, you know, and you get a little misting and you get some rain. It's usually, unless it's a real bad storm, you don't get downpours, you know, heavy, heavy rain. In California, it rains not as much. Oh my gosh, so when it rains, it just pours, and it's it'll like do this for cow days. Pee on a flat rock. It's like a cow pan on a flat rock. We had dinner last night with my brother and his wife, and we did have a nice time. Yes, we, we did. did. And it was good to see him. And, and actually, we were talking about this over coffee this morning. About, you know, we're really glad we made the trip. Even though we complained, and we did, and we apologized for that. Um, but it was good. You know, we, we went into San Francisco. He saw the things that he felt he really wanted to do. He ate, what did you eat? Lots. I ate uh, original Joe's hamburger, which was just as good as it always was. Charbroiled, delicious. And I had a Pasquale's pizza, and it was wonderful. So, you know, that was the part he wanted. He wanted to see his old house, all that stuff. So it was all good. And we saw his brother and, and his wife, and we saw all the nieces and nephews, you know, and we had time with his sister. So, you know, it was good, and we're glad we did it. And, and you know, one of the things that we talk about, um, and, you know, like I said, you might say, oh, that's kind of depressing, but you know what? There may come a time, you know, where we aren't able to all get together for one reason or another. And Our so families are all getting older and the majority of them have health problems as we do too. But uh, yeah, you never know, you know, who you're gonna see again or when. And we're not going down again. We're not no here. that this is our last trip down and we accept that and it's good for us. So uh that's you know, it. one of the director's personal beats is that for the 30 years I worked throughout the Northwest, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, we were always the ones giving up our vacation to drive to California to visit family. Very, very seldom did family come to visit us. So we've done it again, but we're not going to do it anymore. If somebody wants to see us, which is down. <laughs> they will come to us. And I've been hearing about this for 30 years. We always spend our vacations going down and to I see hope you're going to hear about it for another 30 years. So we're on the road. We'll check in with you later. Um, it's all good. And we're very excited about getting moving north, moving north. However, I hear this, this faint little wailing. Somewhere it's almost out like in screaming. the universe. It's it, almost like screaming. It is. It's faint though, very faint. I you know what it is. No. I think it's the scale <laughs> in anticipation of us climbing on top of it. Oh, it's not gonna be happy. Yeah. Not gonna be I happy. got on one of those penny scales in San Francisco and it said come back later or walk. You better watch the damn road. You better get off my case. Keep, well then keep off the keep your face on the road. He makes me crazy. I love him. Anyway, yeah, the scale is screaming, and it's very faint right now, but as we get closer to home, that baby is going to be just right out screaming at us. But we are not, Friday is our weigh-in day, and we'll be home on Wednesday, and I'm not weighing. Are you wearing? Not next Friday. Not next Friday. We'll just hang in there, right? Yeah. Zero points. Zero points. Zero points. See y'all later. Bye-bye. This is what we're looking at, people. Welcome to sunny California. Oh my gosh, it's just pouring and it hasn't. And we go through period. This is good right now. This is good. It's been worse. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's uh it's a it's just the way it is. But Jill for day handles adverse conditions so well. I do, I do. So we thought we'd just let you know what we're looking at. Talk to you it's, later. It's just Horrible. We've been on the road for a tenth hour, an hour, and it 
just has not let up. But my little pilot You there, missed Jill for a screaming I, as we hydroplane for about uh, 150. It, it was just like we were sailing out, just sailing out. And, and the road is rough. You know, they got a lot of road work going on here. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, I'm the co-pilot and I, I'm the navigator. He's the driver and uh, I'm trying real hard to, oh my gosh. I think if we oh. ever travel again, I'll have Jill for a day put into a medically induced coma. So if we get there. You know, that's what happened. We tried flying a few times. Well, I used to like to fly. And I had a rough flight once, and it's not, see this rope? This is all bumped down here. Um, and I used to like to fly, and I had a rough landing one time in San Francisco. And it was at that moment I said, you know, I don't I don't like this. We used, to, we used to smoke on airplanes, believe it or not. You had little ashtrays in between the seats, or up against the side of the plane if you were on the window. And you could smoke in the plane. Can you imagine that? I can't. I used to smoke, and I used to smoke on planes. Anyway, I digress. Um, and from that point forward, I didn't really care flying. And we did fly a few times after that. It wasn't very good. I Before TSA, you'll love this story. Before TSA, you know, you could go and bring anything on an airplane. You really could, on anything. But what I would do is before we got on flight, you know, when you go to the grocery store and they have those... It's the truth. I'm telling you my soul here. You know those little four pack bottles of wine, you know, maybe, I don't know, four ounces each? What do you think, director? Four or five oh, ounces? Six ounces, probably. Six ounces, five. five ounces, okay. I would pack those into my jacket. I'm telling you tales. And I'd go into the ladies' room that was as closest to the terminal, and I'd go into one of the stalls, and I would sit there and drink, a, well, the liquor, in the cocktail lounges at the airport, they're crazy with those prices. So I take my little bottles of wine into the ladies' room and I go into one of the stalls and I sit there and drink them before we got on the train plane. And then pop a couple drinks. Oh, I mean, really, people, it was, friends, it was horrible. And we once had enough mileage banked because he did a lot of travel. And, oh God, this is just horrible. And uh, so we flew first class, which was Every like. Time. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. So anyway, to Alaska a couple times first class. First class, a couple times to Alaska. Would you believe they cut me off in first class? Oh no, I'm sorry, we have no more champagne. Now I didn't drink that much, and I wasn't drunk. Was I, director? Huh? Was you I? talking to me? Yeah. I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't. You weren't sober. Well, I wasn't like I, you know. I no, was, you weren't falling down. No, I was happy. You know, yes, you were. very happy. But still not relaxed. No, I wasn't. It was horrible. I, I just, I just couldn't get get into it. You know. And the last time she flew, when yeah. we came back from Alaska, uh, we had a leg from uh, Seattle to Boise, and by the time we got to Boise. They had to deplane everybody else, then they deplaned us, brought us to a special elevator because everybody else had to climb a flight of stairs up into the terminal. Uh, Jill for a day was so ill, so white, yeah. um, that, oh, uh -oh. oh, we have another accident. We have an accident. So we're going to take a break. There. This is the second accident we've come upon, so uh, we'll Why check it later. Stopped? Because of road construction? I would think so. How are you doing over there? Huh? You've been we've been on the road two and a half hours. Yeah, two two and a half almost. Something like that. Yeah, close to it. And and the rain has let up. All, oh my God! It just poured there for a while. It's let up a little bit. We're now entering the redwoods, so the road's going to be a little slower, which is good for me. It's going to be much slower because I just saw who's up uh, at the head of this. Who's that? Line of traffic is a big semi. Oh yeah, let's go slow yeah. down because it's one lane. On these roads, he's gonna whine and go yeah. slow. So. Okay, well, it is, I'm exhausted. Um, I've been asleep for 30 minutes. It's hard. I hate this. I want to go home. I, I would be glad we get into Arcata just for the day. Uh, we've only got a couple of hours more. 11, 12, 12, 12, 12. Mm -hmm. yeah. A couple more hours.
and it's going to be pretty now from now on. It's not just straight freeway. If the the rain can stop, uh, you know, slow down. That'd be great. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's that. Oh, there's been like I before we cut the camera off. There's been two terrible accidents. One of them, which was the one that I stopped the camera on. A car was in a ditch. There were CHPs and ambulances and everything. This car was way off in the ditch coming our direction. So we're not sure whether he actually crossed over the median and then crashed or if something happened, he hydroplaned or something and he spun around and then crashed. What's this? going on? What is it? It's cars. Oh, the traffic. I'm going to turn the car around. Turn the phone here. Can, see. can they see? Can you see if they can see? Hmm? Can can you see if they can see that line? I can't tell. Okay, probably not. It it just goes for a long way. We are nowhere way. near the uh, construction site where they've got the traffic stopped. No. I mean, we are, I would guess, miles. Wow. Oh wow. This is okay. just a, a line of traffic going nowhere. And the river down below is it's, just swollen yes. and muddy. Oh, and, it's uh, muddy. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I think that's it. Our little check in here. I'm having a horrible hair day, so don't look. I didn't even shave. He's having a terrible hair day, too. I look like an old retired guy. You do, but you're yeah. so cute. You know, you gotta love the director. I could get my baseball cap out of the back and put it on backwards, so I look, or maybe off, off to the, the side, side so you look really cool. Yeah, really stupid. Why the dip? <laughs> Okay, we're done here for now, and I'm hoping we get a good dinner tonight. I don't want to eat out of the ice chest. We've been eating some nice dinners. I, but tonight I'm saying, you know what, I want a, I want a good dinner. So I'm, I'm revving up for that. I'm going to hold off on lunch, so I'm really hungry by dinner. All right, everybody, we'll Insult check Insult of the day. Tell them what you just called me. Go ahead. I said, you want to let me drive the car. And she says, I am the co-pilot. <laughs> I said, you are the thorn in my paw. So we're, it, the, I have to say the, the rain after three hours on the road has lightened up a little bit. And so, he, you know, you can adjust your windshield wipers, you know, so they are intermittent. So I'm just going to say, I sort of, and the windshield's like accumulating. I said, where are the windshield wipers? Well, he's on the No, what you said them. was, hey, 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 windshield <laughs> wipers. <laughs> I actually did say that, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay, so we're doing fine. Uh, we've, we're in the Redwoods, not on the Avenue of the Giants, because we want to just spill right through this. It's been very wet, uh, but uneventful for us. We've been very fortunate, very happy about that. We had to stop for gas, and that was okay. And I guess that's about it, is it? Yeah, just kind of our little check-in. Not check much in. of a view every Oh, no, it's, it's nothing. It's just water. It almost water. looks like a dense fog. It does look kind of like so a dense fog. I think there is an element of fog out there. Well, you know, I think the redwoods. What it is. Well, the redwoods create fog, I believe. You know, all that moisture that comes off them. Mm -hmm. They are breathing. They are a breathing piece of our universe. Unlike Jill for today, who doesn't breathe while we're driving. That's true. I true. I see. He always says I suck all the air out of the atmosphere when he's with me, and I'm upset because I do kind of hyperventilate. You know, oh, sucking it all in all the time. All right, so that's our check-in. It's going well. Uh, we're about, what do you think, about an hour and a half? We're about an hour, hour outside, outside. Eureka. Yeah, so we've got an hour left. Of course, it's way before check-in time, but I always call and I say, you know, we're here early, and if we didn't expect to be here early, we're and old I, people. I'm a nut job. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> I like you. I, I love you. You're just so damn cute. You're fine. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. Well, we will check in later. Hopefully, I can get us into our room early. I hate to have, try to hang around somewhere in, in Arcata. There's not really anything to do. We could go look at a tree museum or something. But Arcata's the home of Humboldt State University. Okay. Yeah. That does what for us? You know, several thousand people smoking dope. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all later. Okay, so we traveled how many hours? Four and a half. We traveled four and a half hours. We are exhausted. I look exhausted. He looks exhausted. I'm fine. 
we check into this Arcata Best Western. Now I'll tell you what, I know there's a lot of, we don't stay at Best Westerns, so I have to start with the preface there. And it's, it's not that we have anything against Best Westerns. No, Western. we don't. It's just we found other hotels we like better. So <clears throat> we checked into this Best Western <clears throat> and we checked in early in town and they said, uh, yeah, we can, you, well, you can got your room. So we show up, well, it's a room that's, first of all, it's a product, it's a property that's a, a much older property. And it looks like Best Western took it over, which is fine. Again, no complaints there. It looked very nice. The landscaping was nice, well-maintained. Everything looked maintained. So we said, that's fine. And so we got there and they said, oh no, it's a downstairs unit. Well, we wanted an upstairs unit because you know how the noise is in these places. So the director says, that's fine. We'll wait for it. We'll wait for it. So we drove around Arcata and the guy called us, said they just finished cleaning your room. Come on, it's an upstairs room. So as I checked in, I said, now this is a non-pet room, correct? Because Jill for today has allergies. Yep. And he says, no, we don't have non-pet rooms. Uh, but the room was just clean. We cleaned them very well. And you go take a look at it. And uh, so we we check in and we get all we look at it. It's very it's been cleaned very nicely. It has. It it's, has. It's decently appointed. So we decide to stay. And then Jill Ferday goes to stretch out on the bed. Take it. Well, let me tell you what. Now, you know how a lot of hotels and motels now are going to the clean white duvet, duvet system, which I like because, you know, those old funky bedspreads, OMG, you don't know what's going on. So, you know, they're all turning to the, the white duvet, which they change out daily, which I think is marvelous. Well, I go to stretch out on this bed, and I look on this duvet, and there is cat dog human hair oh. oh so I call the office and I said you know there is cat hair and dog hair and a human hair all over this white duvet well we just cleaned the room and I said you know what if you cleaned the room this duvet was not changed there you go well we'll put you in another room and I said you know to her I said to her you know here's my problem if I'm seeing this on a white duvet, which of course you would with cat hair, dog hair, whatever kind of hair, what's hiding in the non-white areas? So, take it. So I made the decision that we didn't feel comfortable there, uh, especially with this room having just been cleaned. Just been cleaned. And this is what's funny. Yeah, 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 say it. The maid has an envelope in there with her name and a smiley face so you can leave her a tip. No, no, oh wait, 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 let me throw this in here and then he can have it. She says to me on the phone, the people who just checked out didn't have a pet. Go. Well, if that's true, then the people who were in there before had a pet and you haven't changed the duvet for Aces. a couple of times. Amen. Um, so anyway, I went to the office and I said, is there a way we could just check out? and not get charged because quite frankly, you know, uh, Brian, the guy who checked us in, told me the room had just been cleaned. If this is a just cleaned room, I don't want any part of the hotel. So uh, I checked on my reservation because I made it through hotels.com and they said, yes, um, your card's been run, but the charges haven't been put through and we'll withdraw them in a whatever time it takes them to process it, but you're good to go. So now we're headed back, North. On, back on the road. Uh, we're an hour away from the Holiday Inn Express we stayed at on the uh, Indian Reservation coming down, and uh, which was one, what we think of Amazing. the nicest room we've ever stayed in, in a chain hotel. So we're hopeful they'll have a room for the night. If they don't, a room in Crescent City or if we have to go on to uh, I feel good enough to do that too so anyway we're on the road I just heard a ding on my computer I'm sorry about that we're exhausted we've been on the road since seven o'clock it's now almost four we've driven in non-stop rain however there's no rain there's no rain it's beautiful right now it's overcast the streets are dry 
anyway, we're tired. I want a room. I want to get on my bed. I want my glass of signature glass of wine. So we're praying that that room in Klamath will be available and we will go with it. So, you know, Arcata is supposed to be the greenest little city oh, yeah. in the United States. It's apparently also the hairiest. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the thing that bothered me the most. Okay, fine. You know, it's a pet friendly room. But if you clean it really well, you know, I mean, I do have an allergy to pet hair and stuff. So, you know, I mean, that's a problem. We checked in and I said, it feels pretty good. I think it's going to be fine. And then I saw that bed. And here's the part that, you know, like really torqued up my taco is that if this was a freshly cleaned room and there was nobody in there the night before with a pet, people, we've got problems. So we're on the road. We will check in later at our final destination and tell you how the end of the day went. What, director? Hopeful, hopefully we can find a good Mexican restaurant tonight that serves torque tacos. So. Torque taco, torque tacos and lots of margaritas. I'm a visionary, people. I'm a visionary. I have to look for the best things in life. All right, we'll check in later.